What's up, gang? We're going to evaluate the integral of e to the negative x cos x from 0 to infinity. It's going to be awesome, but this is a sneaky integral. I'm going to do it relatively quick. I'm going to assume that you're familiar with integration by parts, because that's the way we're going to do it, and this is the most popular method. This isn't my favorite method to solve this integral. I do have another method that I prefer, but watch this way, and then check out the other way, and then you can decide which method you prefer. So we're going to set u equal to cos of x, and then dv equal to e to the negative negative x dx, and then we'll do the derivative to get du equals negative sine x dx, and then integrate to get v equals negative e to the negative x. So you can pause this if you want to work through that. But anyways, we'll plug it through into the integration by parts formula. Now this first term is pretty sweet. In the limit as x goes to infinity, this becomes 0 because there's a negative in the exponent. This is 1, e to the negative 0, and cos of 0 is 1. So this whole thing becomes positive 1, which is awesome. So the integral that we're trying to solve is 1 plus, and and I brought this negative, this minus inside the integral, and I'll show you why very, very soon. The integral of negative e to the negative x on x. Now it looks like we didn't do anything here. It looks like we just traded one problem for another, exchanged a cos of sine. And this is the tricky part. We're going to do integration by parts again, <laughs> believe it or not. We'll set u equal to sine of x, so dv is everything else. Take the derivative, du equals cos x dx, and then integrate v equals e to the negative x. We'll plug this into the integration by parts formula to get this right here, uv minus v du. You can pause the video to verify that it's correct. And I'm going to now plug in what i is. This is our integral that we're trying to solve. And if you notice that, that's the same as this integral right here. So we'll sub in what i is. We'll evaluate this, which becomes 0, because e to the negative uh, infinity, as x goes to infinity, is 0. And sine of 0 is 0. So this is all 0. So if we plug all that in, what we get is the integral we're trying to solve equals 1 minus the integral that we're trying to solve. <laughs> uh, so to solve this, we'll move this over to the other side, kind of combine like terms. We now have two of them. Divide by 2. And we got our integral of e to the negative x cos x from 0 to infinity is 1 half. Again, this is a solid method, but it's not my favorite method. You should definitely check out what my favorite method is. I think it's a lot nicer, a lot easier to work with. You get the same answer. At any rate, good luck with your integrals. Hang in there. You can survive. The more you do, the better you'll get. Cheers.